All right, we're going to go through setting up a printer driver for a Canon Image Runner Advance on Windows 7. So the first thing we want to do is go get our drivers. So we're going to go to canonusa.com, and this should bring up the Canon's website. You're going to click on Support and Drivers. And then once you're on this screen, we're going to go click on Office Equipment. Now from here, you need to make sure you select your specific machine. I'm using a Color Image Runner, Image Runner Advance, and it's a 5030. And make sure you select the right model number for your copier. Once you find under the model list your machine, click Drivers and Software. Now, Canon's website automatically detects your operating system. If you are downloading for a different operating system, make sure you do change that here. And then we're going to click Drivers. And we're looking for the UFR2 driver. Right here. Agree to the terms and conditions. And then we're going to save this somewhere easy to find. Typically, the desktop is the best place. Go ahead and click Save. And then wait for your download to finish. Once your download is complete, you should have the file here on your desktop. You're going to right click, I'm sorry, double click, and run it. And this will extract back to your desktop again create a new folder here. We'll come back to this folder in just a moment. Next you want to click on Start, go to Devices and Printers, and from here we're going to add a printer. Now yes it is a network printer but we're going to actually add it as a local and we're going to create a new port. In the drop down select Standard TCP IP port Click Next, uncheck this box. Now here you want to type in the IP address of your copier. I do not use the IP address that I'm typing in here. Click Next. And then on the next screen, click Have Disk. And we're actually going to browse back to this folder. So click your desktop, select the UFR2 folder. Double click it, and in here you'll see this file. Click Open and OK. And then you'll get a list of all the different drivers that that file, or different copiers that file works with. You need to scroll through the list and find your machine. Again, I'm using a 5030. Click Next. Printer name can be named anything you want. Next, and then you wait for Windows 7 to install the printer. Once the install is complete, we want to make sure to select Do Not Share This Printer unless we're installing on a server and going to share the driver out across the network. Click Next. We're going to skip printing a test page for just a moment. Go ahead and click Finish. And here's our installed copier. Next, we want to change some defaults, so you're going to right click. Go to Printer Properties, and then here we're going to click on Preferences, and here's all the basic settings for your copier. Here we're going to change one-sided, two-sided booklet printing to just one-sided, and then we're also going to default to black and white here. Click OK, then print a test page. As long as your test page prints, you've done everything correctly.